really don't like vlogging I'm in the airport because it just take a whole bunch of work and you already know how hectic it is I'd rather just put my camera up instead of having to keep taking it out and hey y'all and hey this and hey that so depending on how it goes if it's not super busy then I can check in with y'all but right now I'm on the way to the shuttle there's a shuttle service in my city that takes us to the airport which is two hours away which is more practical than me having to drive up there and find parking and stuff like that so I figured I'd do that since it's just me but yeah that's where I'm headed I'll tell y'all where I'm going a little bit later but I just want to check in with y'all this morning it is 4 38 it's real early I haven't been asleep but I'm gonna give me some good rest later on so yeah Lord, because you're great and greatly to be praised I thank you Lord that you know everything about this uh, trip, you know everything about my granddaughter. She says she needed this time alone, Lord God. You know it kind of makes me nervous, but I trust you, Lord, that you're going to be with her. You cover her in the blood of Jesus. Let no hurt or harm or danger come upon her. I thank you that she won't put it out there that she's traveling alone, even though people at the resort may see it. I thank you that you keep her safe, Lord God. I thank you and I praise you that she get the rest that she feel like she needs, Lord God, to relax her mind and to hear more her and help her to be the best she can be. In your son Jesus' name, I pray this day. Amen. Amen. Look at the airport. It is 9.05. I got here like in perfect timing. I ate some breakfast. I'm just checking in with y'all though. I don't want to chat too much. I will probably talk to y'all when I touch down. Pray for safe travels. I don't board until like an hour. So we got some time. Can just be chilling. Fun fact about me, I have a very deep fascination about airplanes. Like, I will literally sit and go down a rabbit hole about airplanes, crashes, how they work, all of that. It's just really interesting to me how something so big can literally just float through the sky. It's truly amazing what we have created. I just love being in an airport. It's just like so many people and I just be wondering where everybody going, where they're going for. It's just a really good experience to me. I was a little nervous for my flight as I was by myself, but it went pretty smooth. I didn't have as much anxiety as I usually do on flights. And I pretty much just chilled. I took a couple naps and before I knew it, I was there. Once I touched down, there was a driver waiting for me. The one thing that I did appreciate about my resort was that a shuttle to and from the airport was included in your price. It was about an hour away from the airport, but I just used that ride to take in the scenery. Oh, just three more? Okay. We're a small group. All right, y'all, so I finally get to talk to y'all. I'm just getting here. These men are obsessed with me. If I knew all I had to do was come to the DR for the men's, for the treatments. Oh, the big <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, but like, well, my bail man, I think that's what they call. He was in love with me. I know he was. 
he talking about you're much because he told me to follow him on instagram because he think i got friends coming and he was like he gonna show us to the party on the resort and blah 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 and stuff like that and i'm just lying y'all i'm just lying so follow me on instagram i don't know if that was a bad mistake or not i'm already starting off bad by being too friendly but i didn't want to say like oh yeah i should have said i don't have instagram that's what i should have said but everything is so nice so far i'm still nervous just a little bit but as time go by i think i'll feel a little bit better so i'm gonna give y'all a little room tour let me figure out how to get all the lights on here because it's kind of well it's not many lights actually uh, i don't know no maid service everything is so high tech i don't know why they come in here so i'm pressing that when you first walk in this is basically where you put dirty dishes and it has a sensor on it and they don't even have to come in the room they're gonna get it from outside so i think that's really cool uh, it's like built into the wall and then this is the closet got some robes i love these closets like built-ins i'm definitely gonna be wearing one of these robes and these are the pool towels walk-in this little desk area which I oh, little desk area and then they have this huge full body mirror this is my outfit for the airport I wore like all cream like a little Lululemon vibe but it ain't Lululemon it's fashion over but I think it's really cute mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. okay moving on to the bathroom super duper nice I hate bathrooms who have the fan connected, but I'm going to get them a pass. But this is the bathroom. Another nice mirror. Toilets. They got a phone in the toilet, child. He said for emergencies. <laughs> this is the shower. There's a waterfall shower. It's a nice shower. I love the finishes in here. I love how it's like brown like that wooden light wood grain and then marble i think that goes really nice together we have another little desk area which is very nice tonight i'm having like a pajama night so i just want to put on my pjs and relax i had two beds which i'm okay with it i kind of wish it had one king size but i guess two is fine i mean it's not a big deal so here's all this and it just has like all these little automations you can put like green if you want service and red if you don't want to be bothered and then all this stuff is just connected to like the lights so you don't got to get out of bed i love that so like if i get in the bed and i forget to turn all the lights off baby it's right by the bed and it's cut touch nice and easy so love that not me thinking it go all the way across it don't go all the way across. It only go partial. Or maybe this one do. But it still don't go like all the way across. But I still think that's really cool. This is the living room. This is the living area. I'm almost certain they missing one of them things. Cause it, I think it's supposed to be two on the other side. But this is the living room. They got me some fruit. They got me some old champagne. Period. Another TV in here. Dishes. This is the liquor that they got in here for me. I don't really drink vodka for real. I definitely ain't drinking no Jack Daniels. But he said that this is actually quite good. So, Sanejo. Let's see what that's talking about. We got a little mini bar. We got everything you could need. Sprite, orange soda, which I don't really drink soda. What's back here? Okay, they got ginger ale. Why it look like it been open? Or just, are they drinks not full? And 
And it's club soda anyways. It's carbonated water. I don't want that. Seems like I'm gonna be drinking water because I don't drink soda. The best part of the room. Oh yeah, I wonder what's in here. Is this a receipt? What's in here? Dear Miss Davies, we want we want to welcome you to the finest club. Here we address your every need. Hope you enjoy your stay. Blah 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 blah. Then the best part of the room to me, which made me book it, was it has a jacuzzi. This is the first best part. It has a nice little jacuzzi. I think that's so freaking cute. I'm definitely gonna get in here. Um, Oh guys, look at that, it's a little rest area. It's a bunch of rest areas. And then I got my own pool, which that is amazing. How amazing, and then the beach is way over there. Which is a little bit more privacy, because I feel like everybody gonna be all up in my Kool-Aid. Like, they, they could have made them bushes a little bit thicker. Because my neighbors is going to be seeing my every move. But it's okay. But I'm actually quite hungry. So, I think I'm going to shower and get my life together. Because it's about that time. It's about that time. But yes, I made it, guys. I made it nice and safe. Hello. I want a strawberry margarita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Just left from getting a drink and I'm heading back to my room. I'm trying to kind of walk around and like feel my way around the resort. But yeah, I just got a little drink. Nothing major. Hey y'all. Drunk a margarita and I am lit. Hey y'all, so I got my pajamas on. Let me show y'all. I got these from Burlington. Slippers from Target a year ago. I'm about to do a little journaling and planning. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do for tonight. I'm about to order some room service. I don't know quite what I want, so I'm about to look at the menu online. But tomorrow, I want to get up and go to the pool. My pool right outside the door, so I really want to go to the pool like or eight. I want to get up really, really early, so like seven or eight, and then I want to get a massage. Onions in it, please. Yes, ma'am. Can I do a order of your mozzarella pizza? Do y'all have any toppings like pepperoni? Yes, that's fine though. I know it's somebody out there minding my business because I had several people come up to me and ask me do I talk to people that I don't talk to or just making assumptions about me. And I know somebody probably think I'm somewhere out of town with a man and I'm not. I'm out of town by myself. Get like me, who you know. So y'all, this is how it came. The pasta is giving. Seasoning. Mm -hmm. Tastes like that. I'm gonna try the pizza. Can't go wrong with pizza. This food. Mmm. I plan on getting up early so I can explore. So that's it for tonight. I'ma talk to y'all later on. Good morning. Literally went to sleep with makeup on. That's how tired I was. I didn't even realize I fell asleep. I got water to brush my teeth because they say you ain't really supposed to drink the water out here or like put it in your mouth.
just washed my face. I love my new skincare routine. I think I'm finna do a little makeup and then I'm gonna go to the pool. Oh, so I bought this new lip gloss and it is Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. Look how juicy. Look at my lips, they look phenomenal. And it's the perfect consistency where it's not too like, it's not too like sticky, but it's not too loose either. Like it feel like it's gonna stay put. I'm about to put on my suit. This is the outfit, T. Let's get into it. Hey y'all, I'm relaxing by the pool. I'm going to get a massage at 3. So I'm just chilling. It's 10.07. It's a long time at 11, 12. 1, 2, 3. So I got 5 hours. So I might go get some food in the midst of between now and then because I'm not going to be at the pool for 5 hours. Y'all just dropped my freaking phone underwater, like, don't. And I didn't want to put my head underwater, so I had to it stay under there longer, so I kind of kicked it to the step so I could grab it. But trying to fix it okay y'all so i just got out of the pool i'm about to go to the spa at three o'clock i need to hurry up because it said to be there 15 minutes before i don't know if they're gonna probably have me walking around like in a robe so i'm just gonna throw in a little dress and then when i get there i'll see what they say i haven't ate nothing i'm really not hungry but i need to eat something so i'll probably get some food when i leave from there go to the spa i don't know my way around the resort but it's my first time leaving the room and i'm still not where i'm supposed to be I don't know my way around. So cute out here though. Mm -hmm. Y'all, they want me to have a bathing suit and robe on, baby. I got on panties. I got on panties. So, of course, I couldn't record in the spa, but it was so amazing, refreshing. <laughs> I did hydrotherapy, which I've never done before. And it was a really, really amazing experience. Like I would go to the spa more often just to do this. Y'all, the hydrotherapy was amazing. Like I would do that again, it was cool. Next, I was taken upstairs to wait on my masseuse. And y'all, it was the best massage that I could have gotten. I think I did 75 minutes and I just left feeling so just relaxed and just, oh, it was, I recommend getting massages, y'all. It's just a different feeling. He just told me his wife looked like me. <laughs> he said, if I stay here right day, right here all day, he will be very happy. You're afraid coming. Okay, thank you. That's a chicken burger, it got cheese on it. I hate being wasteful. Hey, long time no see. I'm about to go to dinner. I hope they don't be tripping on me because the restaurant I'm going to tonight closes at 10.30 and it is 10 o'clock. So this is the fit for tonight. Super cute. I got me a little look on tonight. Dress Fashion Nova. Shoes Fashion Nova. Bag DJ Maxx. Necklace Shein. I got this one over to Tulum. But I'm about to go ahead and head to dinner. I don't even know where I'm going, so I kind of need to pull up. I got a little app, but you can pull up everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. The chicken fajitas with no beans and no, no beans. guacamole. Okay. I mean, guacamole. Okay, chicken fajita. Yes. So over dinner, I really just got on live and talked to my people because I love keeping up with you all. It's always a good time when I go live. My food, guys. It's 
Hmm? You have to really go and get I know, I was doing that. I just was eating some of the meat. Okay. Dessert is served, guys. This ice cream tastes like coffee. y'all so i'm on the way back to the room i just ate i give the meal a six out of ten honestly it wasn't the best it was as basic as it gets but it wasn't like the worst it's been raining mm. it be fast but yeah y'all i guess i'm gonna go to the room and i want to get in the jacuzzi so i'm gonna get in the jacuzzi What's up y'all? So I am back in the room. I've been watching Daddy's Little Girls since I got in here. It's actually like 1 a.m. I don't feel like it's 1 a.m. though. So I'm kind of just been up. But I'm about to head to sleep. I need to wash my face and wrap my hair up tonight because I didn't do that last night. I was trying to shut my shower off because it has like a little leak. But I guess it just won't turn off. So it ain't my water bill. Once I got settled in, I did decide to straighten up a little bit because I tend to make a mess when I'm traveling and it just makes me more frantic. So I just decided to pull out all of the rest of my outfits. So these are my last few outfits. This is for tomorrow during the day. I'm gonna keep that on all day. It's a swimsuit with just pants. Real simple and easy. This is for tomorrow night. I cannot wait to wear this. I just feel like I'm gonna look so pretty. It's a really cute outfit. It's perfect. And then this is my airport outfit bag. Everything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a bag. Keep in mind, this is straight hair, so the curls really don't wanna hold for real. But basically, it said to put it across your head like a hairband. Then you gonna clip it. Then you gonna take all the hair and you gonna wrap it just like so. Things. Basically, it says it preserves your curls and it can create waves. So, we're going to see. Oh, they're not ponytail holders. They're to secure the ends. This is very interesting. I'm watching the Tony Braxton movie. And all she doing is crying. We're going to see how this come out in the morning. I don't know why I'm up so late because I'm getting up at 8 to go to breakfast. Just leave it like this, start wrapping up in the bonnet. I'm gonna wash this makeup off my face first. I've been doing lighter baby hair looks. I think I like it better. I got some waterproof micellar water. And I'm just about to put that on my face. Cause I got eyeliner and waterproof. I'm about to try to make breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet while I've been here. It's 9.35. Breakfast ends at 11. So that gives me like 30, 40 minutes to get ready. If I can get there by like 10.30, I'm cool. But yeah, I need to hurry up. <laughs> Let's see if the little thing worked. It definitely worked. I don't think I curl my hair. 
Oh, I love this thing. Mm -hmm. Look like it just got curled. Literally. How cute. Get into it. I don't have any boob tape, which is surprising because I usually always bring boob tape. I'm really not hungry. I'm kind of turned off. I'm at the beach. The water is so blue. So blue. Got my journal. My 2024 planner. And my 2023 planner, which is almost over with. And I got me a margarita. Now this margarita good. Really debating on if I want to do vlogmas. It's just planning it out. So I guess that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, look at the iguana. Walking around with animals. I don't keep animals. The biggest part of this retreat was a change of scenery, a sense of clarity, and just to source my independence. Look at me trying to use words. Don't follow me up because I'm trying to sound inspirational. <laughs> but no, for real, like I just needed a getaway and just to clear my mind, to show myself, to prove myself that I could do this, that I got me. And also just to get some work done, but in a different place, if that makes sense. I'm upset because I can't finish my schedule because I don't have no ideas. So I'm going to go to the room, regroup, and try to get some understanding. Because right now, I'm not getting anything. But I want to get in the pool so I can cool off because it's kind of hot out here. And the water's so blue, so blue. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I really wish I could put that song in the video. So, yeah, that's the vibes. <laughs> Y'all, I am so delusional. I do not know how to swim, and I'm trying to convince myself that I know how to swim. And I took swimming lessons. I like I took swim classes, all that. I just never learned for real. So I feel like that's a challenge I want to challenge myself to in a new year. Learn how to swim. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the room, but I feel so sick. Like I have to throw up. I don't know if it's because I drank the margaritas. I haven't ate no food. I'm gonna try and call room service and just get something quick. I feel extremely sick. And that's not good. So I'm about to get ready for my last night of dinner. I didn't know that the steakhouse was closed tonight. So I have to go to an Asian restaurant. Asian food in Dominican Republic is crazy. But I'm praying that it's good. I'm about to do my hair and my makeup. This is more zen. I'm really just trying to vibe out. I'm listening to my Ariana Grande right now. So I'm just going to let y'all watch what I do. My hair was still a little bit wet from the pool, so I just went through and blow dried it out because it was still wet. And I was surprised because it had been hours that had passed, but it was soaking wet like in the back. So I just went through and blow dried it with their sorry blow dryer. I was getting aggravated. I don't smoke no sweet shit. I'm my daddy's milk. Look at me, my sister. He said she my up, but I didn't know I had to lick her up. My hair not curling right because it's still a little wet from earlier. Take like nothing else from this vlog. Buy this yummy lip gloss by CoverGirl. It is the best thing I've ever had. Mix around the lip liner. I took some more pictures that night, but honestly, I wasn't feeling this hairstyle on me. I don't know. It kind of made me feel like I look like a cone head or something. Maybe I'm delusional, but I just wasn't feeling it and I wasn't feeling good. I don't know if I was sick from not eating and drinking or what, but like I was really feeling like queasy. So I just decided to take it on in. Even though it was my last day, I still feel like I relaxed and just... I didn't want to do too much anyway so it just felt good to get away 
on my own terms and just do something special for myself so i went ahead and started packing up because i would have to get up not relatively early but i wanted to be prepared so i just pulled out everything and laid everything out and once i finished i went ahead and got in the hot tub because that's one amenity that i hadn't used at that point and it was so so relaxing i just scrolled and did what i did but it was just amazing like i just enjoyed myself so much on this trip and the facility was just as amazing as well it was awesome Good morning guys today is travel day i am heading back to america this trip was super duper relaxing um it was just enlightening for me and even though i didn't leave the resort it was a huge step for like my independence <laughs> not like oh i need to be free but like i got myself and i feel like i don't treat myself as if I have myself but I really got myself like I'm stronger than I believe I am if that makes sense and I did and I didn't do much but it wasn't that type of trip at all it wasn't I wasn't trying to be jumping off cliffs <laughs> zip lining I wasn't trying to do that so I feel like I got my money's worth I didn't eat they're about to bring me breakfast. If you can miss a breakfast, then you just not worthy of nothing. So I ordered waffles, a pastry basket, and some fruit. I hope it's good. I'm going to eat some of that, but I'm going to eat at the airport too because they have food. Um, but I'm going to try to eat some of that before I leave. My flight isn't to 3.50. It's 9.40. The flight to pick me up comes at 12.50 because they take you to the airport two i mean three hours before so i'm gonna be at the airport for a while but i'll use that time to fully complete my blocking schedule and my intro synopsis i'm debating on if i want to do a full 25 days of vlogmas but i don't want to overwhelm y'all i'll say that i don't want to overwhelm y'all these videos to the point where y'all have to play catch up and y'all not watching it when it's uploaded. like i just don't want to have to do that to y'all on live but it's so hard to get a general perspective because a lot of y'all don't be on my live it's only a very small sector so it's hard Straight hair, like straight hair never looks like this. I don't know what kind of footage I got for this trip, but I hope it's something because I tried to vlog, but first of all, I'm not a fan of this camera. This is more so my sit down camera. I don't like vlogging with this camera. I'm so eager to eat. I ate absolutely nothing yesterday i swear to god god can strike me down right now i didn't eat a single piece of food yesterday i ordered a caesar salad and a plate of chicken tenders and it was nasty and i'm gonna just be honest and say i'm not gonna say like all the food is trash like i'm gonna give them a a chance and say that I really didn't go to any of the restaurants. I only went to one, which was the Mexican restaurant. And the fajita, I mean, it was okay. The tortilla wasn't really to my standard, but I mean, it was a tortilla and I was hungry, so I ate it. And then the dessert is what got me. The dessert is what made me feel sick. It had, it was a churro with like chocolate sauce and it tastes like throw up. I swear to God, it tastes like throw up. I don't know what the, but it was chocolate and caramel, but it didn't taste, it's literally, I swear to God, I'm not being dramatic. It tastes like throw up. So that kind of had me feeling sick. 
And then I just been feeling sick since I've been here. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I really haven't ate anything. Literally, I haven't used my all inclusivity except for like for drinks. So that's just a warning. But everybody says that resort food is nasty. Like everybody says that. So I'm kind of like. I'm not surprised, but it's like, baby, I'm hungry. I'm finna go tear this Pizza Hut up. I want a large pizza to myself. But all in all, I had a great, great time. It's the change of scenery. The workers, like the all the all the people that play a part into this resort, are so nice, and they like they literally cater to you, and they. Child, I was the baddest thing walking on the resort to them. One thing came up to me, I think it's because I'm not gonna say I look like them, but I may be within their realm of standard of beauty because the dude came up to me yesterday at the beach and he was like, You are Dominicana. And I was like, Hmm? He came up to me speaking Spanish and I was like, Mm mm. I mean, I'm from the, I'm from the United States. And he was like, Oh, wow, you look like me. I said, mm -hmm. yeah, we the same color. And he was like, you have a nice complexion. And so, um, I think they think I'm one of them, especially with my long Brazilian hair. <laughs> I'm ready to get back though, get to work. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Do Black Friday coming up. I got week videos. All in all, this was an amazing time. I would definitely do this again. Solo travel. Is really really an experience and it's gonna be a learning experience because I want to do it more like I will literally like I can move to the beat of my own drum I can get up as early as I want to as late as I want to I can eat wherever I want to I can do nothing if I don't want to I can do nothing if I want to like it's just amazing and it makes you have a sense of like it's just anytime you have like solo time, time to yourself, you have time to like reflect and just think to yourself. And I just get mesmerized like by the beach and just looking out here like it's so much more of this to see. And it makes me want to work harder to see this type of stuff more regularly. Like I want to vacation more often. I want to travel. I want to experience. I want to see. I want to do that. And to do that, I have to put in the work. To be able to do that so it's just very motivating and like i said this was like a little retreat and i really needed it mentally mentally i really needed it i needed um i don't know i needed this experience to show me something as small as it is as oh you went to the dr well it's not small at all but I mean, it's kind of like, girl, you ain't even leave the resort, so. But it's a big deal to me. And I can be able to say that I took a trip out of the country by myself. Ain't nobody go with me, it was just me. So, I love that. But I'm just waiting right now. He'll be here in about an hour, so I'm just gonna relax. Until that time. I'm gonna chop it up with y'all. I really wanna go to sleep so I can the fast the more let time pass and then boom, airport. Thank <laughs> y'all for coming with me. I'm gonna check in with y'all when I get to the airport.